So obviously, Gary, your first responsibility is to protect the president in those situations Absolutely. when he had someone in the Oval Office, a woman. Um, in that situation, would he alert you guys? You know, I'm I'm going to be tied up for the next 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or is this a <laughs> Literally, situation? Maybe. Yeah, exactly. Where he would just kind of go at it and and then hope for the best. Yeah, no, not in my experience. Basically, the way it kind of worked um, is, I guess you just we just kind of assumed like we. Certain things were happening at the time, like it would happen on a weekend with this particular intern. It would happen on a weekend when the staff wasn't in. So he'd be in the Oval Office by himself, and then she would show up with some lame excuse of why she had to, you know, why this intern or even a junior employee, um, that, you know, why she had to go see the president. And, and when you think about it in those terms, this is not some bizarre. And when you guys work for a big company, right, does the, does the, the person that is your assistant go up and confer with the, uh, you know, the CEO all the time? You know, how bizarre would that be? You know, if you saw the somebody who, you know, works, uh, takes phone calls, and the next thing you know, they're going in, you know, a couple times a week to see the CEO, you think something was bizarre, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And and that's what we saw. And um, so you know, he wouldn't come out and say, hey, guys, I'm, you know, I'm doing this or whatever, but you just kind of figured it out. And um, and then, you know, nobody can go in there and, and interrupt them unless, you know, we let them in. 